uh, for one last meeting. Jesus noted very clearly to them that it was imperative that they did not leave that room, right. amen, right. until they had been anointed with the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen. He was very uh, uh, precise in an instruction. Mm -hmm. For he said to them that after that, after you have get to know Jesus, he said that you shall receive power. And after that, the Holy Ghost will come upon you and you shall be witnesses, amen, in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the world. Amen. And so set in motion the mandate of the church. We must never get to our uh, 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 to, to a point in our Christian walk of faith, amen, to where we uh, feel like uh, uh, all I'm instructed to do is a motion of coming and going. Can I get a witness? Amen. Huh? I've heard folk even say that in a prayer. Lord, when I'm done coming and done going, give me a home in your kingdom. Amen. Huh? But I want you to know that there is more to the mission than just going and coming. Amen. Contrary to popular beliefs. Amen. Contrary to the way that it seemed. Amen. The gospel does not end at the church. Amen. The gospel doesn't end when we give the benediction. Y'all ought to hear me. Amen. Amen. That is another aspect of the mission of the church that is just as important. Amen. Amen. We come in the house and we come in the presence of the Lord in this place. Amen. That God might fill us with his Holy Spirit. Amen. That God might renew, might refresh, might restore that which we have lost. Amen. Anybody feel like I've lost? I poured out. Amen. Huh? I poured out. Amen. But here is the opportunity that God has given us. Amen. That He is going to pour back into me what I have poured out. Amen. And, and I want you to know if you haven't poured anything out, Amen. There isn't any room to pour anything. Amen. Amen. You ought to be about well, the moment you leave the house. Amen. The moment that you leave the church, you ought to be about the business of I'm going to pour something out. Amen. You ought to be purposeful about pouring out. You ought to be looking for folk, amen, who need something poured out of you and poured into them. Can I get a witness? Amen. 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 Because the Bible says that, 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 that we know, amen, that we have a Jesus, a Christ in us, amen, who refreshes and restores us, who brings us back, amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. I want us to, to, to make sure that we have the right idea, that we have uh, the, the right uh, notion and the right understanding. Amen. Amen. That the church, amen, seemingly has narrowed its mission to Sunday morning worship. Y'all yeah, may not want to hear it, but it's the truth. It seems like that in a lot of cases, the church has narrowed its mission to we, we put a whole lot into an hour and a half worship on Sunday. <laughs> but we must also understand that the church is not a retail store whereby we stop by and shop around. Y'all know how it is. Yes, yes. We stop and we shop and we shop and sometimes we come out of the store with nothing. Can I get right, witness? Mom. Amen. Huh? Amen. You, you ever went to a store and, and, and your money was burning in your pocket, amen, and you just wish you could find something you want. Yeah. You look on rack after rack after rack. Can I get a witness? Y'all ladies know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Amen. Huh? It was either the size didn't fit or the Tell about it, right. Tell it was always them. something that wasn't exactly right. Amen. Y'all do know that the, the church had become the same way. Some folks look at the church, amen, the same way, amen. They look at the church where you know the, the shouters they they, they they called they didn't shout me happy the, the singers they didn't sing me happy the preacher didn't preach me happy the prayer didn't pray me it's always something amen that was a little bit wrong if it had been a little bit different if it had been a little bit better I would have got what I stopped at right over today again I don't know what's wrong with it y'all he, he didn't preach like that the last time 
Amen. He made me shout. But maybe you ain't supposed to shout. Amen. Amen. The, sh the church is not a gymnasium. I'm sorry, the church is not a place where we come to do calisthenic, acrobatic, and lift a few weights every now and then. Even though the church should be a place of divine health, the church ought to be a place, amen, where the sick, the, the downtrodden, the oppressed, the depressed, amen, those who are going through can come, amen and have themselves rejuvenated. Amen. Good God Almighty, y'all pray with me, Joe. Just a little while. Okay. The church, amen, must realize that God has empowered the church. The church was at a loss to release the presence of God. The church, the, the, the church, y'all remember when those disciples were sitting there in that room, they were looking at one another. Nobody knew what to do. Nobody knew what to say. Nobody knew how anything was going to come out. Yes. Somebody ought to hear me. And then the church was released to the with the power of God. Amen. I want y'all to know something. I don't know about you, but I'm preaching because I feel like I have some power in me to change something. All right. Can I All know right. Me? Yes. Choirs, you are the yes. same because you feel like yes. there has been a yes. in the choir, a spirit of that that will allow the choir through song and through yes. praise and through worship yes. to change something. Amen. Amen. The Amen. Of God who have sit under the word, who have known that you know that I've been touched by God, yes. I've been moved by the Spirit and by the power of God. I have a spirit, amen, in me that has something that's waiting to be released, amen. You ought to be looking at the mission of the church, and the church is called to release the power of God into a dying world. At a stage, amen, where we are looking, amen. Amen. Where we're not, not, not at a point where we're acting like this don't exist, amen, huh? But we ought to be at a point to where the church, amen, huh? Uh, he has given us, amen, his power. He has given us his mandate, amen, that we might release who he is in us yes. unto the world. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. So I, I want us to, to look at this text, amen. The text uh, gives us three components, amen, that are necessary for the mission of the church. Amen. The, the text just gives us three points. Amen. That are necessary that the church would fulfill the mission of God. Amen. How many of you feel like I don't know about anybody else, but I am a member with a mission? Amen. How many of you feel like I'm just more than a, a church comer? Amen. 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 I'm a church goer. Amen. Yes. I'm just more than a person that comes in and receives the word. Amen. But I am a child of God. Amen. Who has been equipped and empowered by God to go out. Amen. Uh -huh. The word says, amen, that, 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 that we ought to be able, if you got, if, if, when you look back at the miracles, you look back at all the work that Christ did. Christ looked at us and he said, even greater work shall yeah, we do. do. That's right. He said, I don't care what you see. Do you ought to do greater works than that? Yes. I want y'all to know something that we ought to be so empowered. There ought to be somebody in here that just like Christ that can speak the word, amen. Huh? Not because the person is in your presence, amen. There ought to be somebody somewhere just because she spoke the word, they was healed, amen. Can I get a witness, amen? There ought to be somebody in here, amen. Can I anybody feel like I have spoken some things into existence because I spoke it? God made it come to pass. Good God Almighty. Mm. Good God, there ought to be some people here who are empowered, amen, just by laying your hands on somebody, amen. Yeah. You, you ought to be able to lay your hands on somebody. And the word said that if they sit there all the <laughs> I recover. That was the words. The church has a mission. I want y'all to understand. If you don't hear anything as I say today, remember the church has more of a duty than just coming in these consecrated walls and staying just a little while. But the church has a mission. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. How do we, how, 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 how we get to, to that point? I want you to look at these three components. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. The first thing that we are commanded that we must do is we have to draw near to God. Say it. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, we have to forget about what we think, what we believe. Amen. We have to forget about what, 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 what's been done and, and what had to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, there are more church, there's more church stifle because what had to happen. Mm -hmm. Somebody said that the, the, the opening phrase of a dying church's eulogy was we didn't do it like that. We have to get to a point, amen, I'm discovered in myself that when I draw near to God, God draws near to me. Can I get a witness, amen, amen, that, that when I'm going through, I've learned to draw near to God, and God will draw near to us, amen. We get so busy, we get so caught up that when things start to happen, amen, you need to know the enemy wants to separate you from God, amen. And Paul said, I am convinced, amen, that nothing gonna come between me, nothing shall separate me and God, amen. Parables, uh, nothing else, nothing else gonna happen is gonna separate me, amen. I don't know about you, I'm not gonna allow my sickness, my distresses, or anything. I am drawing near to God. Amen. I learned the secret, amen. I learned the secret the, of the success of those who have gone through some things. Draw near to God. Yes. The world wants you to think that you better off busy mm. doing what the world has laid out for you to do. Yes. Huh? The world wants you to believe that the answer to your trouble, the answer to your problems, the, the everything that's going to get you another job. Mm -hmm. Work two or three jobs and a part time, and just don't go to church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That makes you busy, that, that keeps you. On, but in a time when the church ought to be drawing near to God. Mm -hmm. I want y'all to know something. We thought, folk thought it was a good thing that we done, y'all know we done cut revivals up so bad now, we might always this could happen. Y'all y'all ready for this? We cut out Sunday night because we were tired. All right, say it, preacher. That's the truth. <laughs> we cut it down to four days or five or two minutes. Yes. <laughs> then we discovered that four days was just as bad, so we cut it down to three. Yes. That's what they're doing. Uh, Amen. Mm -hmm. But have you picked up a paper lately? Say it. Say it, preacher. Come on, preacher. More of our young folk are dying. Yes. Homes and all of these things being broken into folks' lives, amen, huh? But the church is on vacation. <laughs> Say it, preacher. That's the truth. I believe that God has left the church here with a mission, and God is saying to the church in a time when the church is separating itself from God, amen. I, I said this morning in Sunday school, I say it again, amen. Amen. Uh, you have to know where the church is now, because the church in a lot of ways has looked more like the world than the world looks like. All right, all right, preacher. And we have to get to a point to where we are drawing near to God. Yes. I want you to know the devil ain't scared of Sunday morning worship. No, he's yeah. not. And no, it's not. We don't draw near to God. Yes. He's not scared of you speaking no, to not. somebody no, as not. long as you leave to those people no more. Yes. Somebody ought to hear me, amen. Say it, but when we draw near to God, God yes. will draw near to us. The yes. word said that the Lord declared that my people who are called by, by my name. name. Yes. Shall humble. Humble. yes, come on, preacher. Who are the people that is called by the name of God in the church? Y'all do know that there's no yes. other name that's named church except the church of God. Yes. <laughs> All right, preacher. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. you got to hold on, you got to, hold on. to your hope. To your hope. <laughs> Do we realize that the disciples were the early church? 
They're the one that have walked with God. They have talked with God. They have watched the miracles that he did. Amen. They watched him change water to wine. They watched him heal the man born blind from his birth. They watched him heal the woman with the issue of blood. But did you also know that it only took them three days to lose their faith? Uh, do y'all hear that? It, it, it only took three days for them to leave, leave their faith. Jesus had been in the grave for three days and they looked at Peter, amen, who some call him Pastor Peter, amen. And they said, Pastor, what do we do, amen? What I'm trying to tell you is I'm going to hold on whether you hold on or not. Yes. I'm still going to be holding on. Yes. You can ask me right now. Yes. I'm holding on. Yes. Amen. I don't care what the doctor says. I don't care what the world says. I am holding on. Yes. I'm not going to let go. I'm Determined that I'm going to hold on to what Christ has put in me. Amen. They looked at Pastor Peter. They said, Peter, it's been three days since yes. we saw it. What are we going to do now? Peter looked at them and said, I got my reel. I got my dial wall. I got my Shimano or whatever you I got my Zepco 33. I'm going fishing. Yes, sir. <laughs> and so they said, guess what? Well, we going with you. Amen. I want some leaders in here to know that God has put out front for a reason, amen. That's right. It's your duty, amen, that we continue to bless God's people by leading them to say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who's been in me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have to hold on in Christ Jesus yeah. because he is our high priest forever. Yeah. Because by the blood of Jesus, amen, I am what I am, amen. And by his stripes, I'm healed. Amen. I, I don't know about you, but everything that's not like him, and I'm holding on in my faith. Amen. Can I get anybody holding on right now? Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, you yes. May not look good. It may yes. not look like you want it to look yes. like. But if you hold on just to hold on. Faith, yeah. hold on. Just hold on in Christ Jesus. Anybody holding on? Well, yes. I'm about to tell you, yes. you just hold on just a little while longer. And quite surely, yes. we'll bring it to pass. I'm talking yes, to some well. mother yes, that's well. going through some yes, trials well. and tribulations with your son or your daughter. You just hold on just a little while longer. I'm talking to somebody that's going through sickness in this body. You just hold on a little while longer. I'm talking to somebody that may be going through some financial worries. You just hold on just a little while longer. I don't know about you. I made it up in my mind. I'm not going to let go of yeah, my faith. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to hold on to in Christ Jesus. For Christ I live yeah. and for Christ I die. Yeah. I may be shaken, but I won't be stirred. I'm going to hold on to Christ Jesus. For a terrible preacher, why are you going to hold on to the son of God of mine? Why are you going to hold on to trouble?
I remember another uh, episode on the Little Rascal. Uh, 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 Grandma got to looking for a uh, stop, and Perina said he's all right. Grandma, uh, I got him by the hand. Anybody remember that? Amen. I want y'all to know something. There was a time, yes, I was. I was underwater. I was in trouble. But Christ said he's all right. <laughs> the third point of what he was. Look at your neighbor. You say, neighbor. Neighbor. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is tough. The mission of the church <laughs> is that we watch over <laughs> and care for one another. Yes. Say it again, Pastor. Say it again. Say it again. That's what it is. Christ said, How can you love me? Can you say that you love me? Yes. And you can't. Phone you see every day. Say that, preacher. Say that, preacher. How can you say, how can we say that we love Christ and some of y'all got relatives that y'all don't speak to no more? Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Somebody in here, y'all fell out because where y'all were going to have a family reunion. <laughs> and you just I ain't going to no more. <laughs> Y'all know it's the truth. Amen. Amen. Say the truth. Mm. Mm. Talking about what? Well, only reason they call they want something. You forget about when you used to call for want something. Amen. <laughs> and if you know you've been blessed, you sit up here right now saying, I ain't never asked nobody for nothing. <laughs> And somebody said, I got it like that. I ain't going to admit it. But, you know, I think we have to know that's not how we ought to feel. God's word says that because the Christ is in us, amen, yes. huh? we are a new creation. All yes. things are passed away. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let it go. 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 It's time out. Amen. It's time out for us harboring and holding things. Amen. We bad at folk and we done got to the age now where, where I, I, I used to didn't believe this, but I'm at that age now where you just don't remember everything you thought you could remember. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So why is it that you remember y'all? You don't remember what y'all fell out about, but you remember we all we don't get along. <laughs> Hello, somebody. His time. As the word says, just to let it go. Amen. It go. Because I want you to know that, that, that the Bible says that the Lord, amen, he throws everything that was not like him about all of us. He threw it in the seal forgetfulness. Amen. And he put up a no vision sign. Amen. Now, God said, I will remember their sins no more. I don't care what you think you know about me, what you done heard about me, as long as my God don't remember it no more. Amen. My God said, I can bless the clean. Because I don't remember him doing that, amen. I can look down of my, I can touch his life. Because I know what if we could just look at each other. What if we knew enough about each other till we get to a point to where I just don't remember it no more. I, I can love a person that I'm sitting beside because I don't remember that no more. Amen. I can speak to him in love and in song because I don't remember it no more. I don't care what the, you think you know. God don't remember it no more. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, that's me now I'm over. They always bring it up still. Does anybody ever see it there? Every time they turn around, they man, huh? They always bring up some stuff. Christ said, 
he does not remember your sin. That's what I have to tell you about how I used to act. Uh, <laughs> you know you can tell God some stuff about yourself. Amen. That you ought to not tell him. <laughs> Uh, if I don't know that, uh, but for those who are visiting with us, I told White Oak, if God don't ask you, don't tell him. <laughs> and I'm a true believer. I'm a true believer. Amen. If God don't ask you how sick are you, just don't tell him. Just ask to be healed. Yes. If God don't yes. ask you how broke you are, don't start talking about what you ain't got. Uh, just tell him, I'm going to be blessed. Somebody ought to hear me. Amen. We tell God a whole bunch of stuff. Amen. That God said, I don't remember that. I don't remember when you were like that. I don't remember when you. You see, church, as long as we look at the mandate and the mission of God, and we look at it from a standpoint, I'm just as tore up and messed up as I used to be. That's true. In a man, in a woman, amen. How many of you say that? How many of you can, you can testify in this church, can witness in this church? I am a new creation. Yes. Everything that wasn't like Christ uh, it was passed away. Anybody yes. believe that about yes. yourself? Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. I want you to do something for me. If you believe that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, just stand up and give the Lord a hand. Yes. Me. If you believe, if you believe that you are a new creation, Amen. 